Hey, Biz Bestie. If you're just starting out in your coaching business, or if you're somewhere in the middle, you don't need a website yet, but you do need a landing page so you can start collecting emails and building your list with potential leads. In today's video, I'm going to go over how you can create a landing page with ConvertKit with no website. So stay tuned. We're meeting for the first time. Welcome. I'm Shade Johnson and I'm a tech strategist and digital creator for coaches. I specialize in helping you with the behind the scenes tech stuff in your business and give you a little entrepreneur inspo along the way. So if that sounds like what you need, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos that I post weekly. Now let's get to how you're going to create your landing page using ConvertKit. In case you're not familiar, ConvertKit is an email service provider and it's my favorite one for coaches. I have a few other videos here so far on YouTube all about ConvertKit and why I love it so much for your coaching business. So I will definitely link to those in the description box. So the first thing you want to do is get signed up for a ConvertKit account. You can start your free trial with the link that I'll be giving you in the description box as well. And with that free trial, you'll have the ability to start creating landing pages. I'm going to be sharing my screen with you and walking you through how to get that created. All right. So here we are in the ConvertKit account that I use for training and I am in the landing page and form sign up signups area. And the way I got here was by going to grow up here on the menu bar and then clicking landing pages and forms. So to get your landing page created, what you want to do is go down here and click create new. Then click on landing page. And the awesome thing about ConvertKit is that they actually provide you with a bunch of amazing pre-designed, beautiful templates. So you don't have to deal with figuring out the design portion or figuring out you know where to place things it's just already done for you which is really nice all you have to do is enter in the title of whatever you're promoting and go from there and you know maybe change up the colors to match your brand and then you're good to go so i'm just going to choose one of these i'll choose this one looks nice so let's go with the belmont landing page And once you get in here, you can actually start to edit, edit everything. So let's just start at the top. It says you can add an extra call to action here. So if I double click in here, this is how I can actually edit this text. So I'm hitting the backspace and deleting that. And I'm going to say, welcome to my page. <laughs> And when you go down, oh, and so on this right hand side, this is where you can actually start changing the color, the colors based on where you have placed your cursor. So you can see that this is saying we can change this teal looking color here. So if you have the hex code for your brand, then this would be where you would put that. So let's see, you know, if I click different areas here, that's how I would be able to change the color or I could just enter in the hex code right here. And then you can also change the font color. So if I wanted it to be, you know, white instead of the black, but in this case, I think black looks better. So then close that out. And then you can also change the font size going up or down. So then when you come down to these photos, you can actually click on any of these photos. And as you can see, as I'm clicking on it, on each individual one, the photo is changing here. You see that? So if I wanted to change this middle one, I would go to replace and then upload a photo from my computer for whatever I wanted this to be. Or if I wanted to change the sizing or you know crop it at all, I would click on edit. And here is where you would be able to, let's see if we wanted to change this to, be more um, zoomed in and tilted, then we would just drag our mouse down here. And if we wanted to rotate left, we could go up here, flip horizontal, flip vertical, lots of different awesome things you can do. So I'm going to click. Oh, and then you can also add some filters and colors, which is pretty cool. So let's see if we add 
a black and white to be very dramatic. <laughs> then we can click done. And you see that it got updated to the changes that we just made. And then you keep going down and keep editing everything to how you want it, what you want it to say. So let's say you are promoting a freebie that you wanted people to download. This is where you would enter in all of that copy to entice someone to go ahead and download it. Now the fields down here right now, there's only one for an email address, but I do recommend you adding at least one more field that asks for their first name. So that way, once they're on their email list, you actually have their name and email address. And if you send out an email and you want to address them personally by saying, hey, Sade, hey, Jane, hey, Ashley, you'll have that first name field so that it can be filled in for you. So the way you do that is you click on this plus sign and you see it added another field here. And if you wanted to drag the name box above the email address, you would just let your mouse hover over the gray line and click and drag that box above. And for this one, we're, uh, we're gonna select this field and come over to the right hand side here, leave it as a custom field and then we're gonna change this drop down to first name. And we're gonna check the required box so that way when someone's filling this out, they are required to fill out the first name and email address before they're able to click this. Um, well, it says join waitlist, but you can change it to you know subscribe now, get your download now, whatever it is, join my newsletter, you know, whatever you're promoting. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna type that in here. Uh, so both those fields are going to be required in order for them to actually be able to click this button. Once you're done making all your edits, be sure to click save. And also I forgot to mention, make sure you're clicking save throughout this pro process, just in case you have to, you know, um, leave your desk or if you accidentally close out of it or something, you want to make sure you're don't lose your work. And be sure to edit the name up here in the upper left-hand corner, because if you're gonna be creating multiple pages down the line, it's better to have everything organized and labeled correctly, so that way you don't get confused. So you can just click that edit pencil up there, erase the current name and change this to my new landing page, <laughs> but obviously make it make sense to whatever you're promoting. And just hit enter there. And I wanted to point out too that there are some additional settings up here and the settings um, pretty much are, you know, defaulted and okay, but you might want to customize some of it. So right now, if someone subscribes to your page, um, subscribes via this landing page, once they hit that black button at the bottom, it's going to show them success. Now your check your email to confirm your subscription. If you wanted to edit this, you could, or if you wanted to redirect them to an external page, then you would click there and um, enter in the URL for where they want it to go. But for this example, we're just going to have it be show a success message. And the other thing that you might want to update is the incentive email. I would definitely leave this checked but you could edit the email contents because right now what's gonna be sent to them is this default um, default email. Um, and what happens is they click confirm subscription. So that way um, ConvertKit knows that they actually wanted to subscribe to your email list, which is great because that's gonna make sure your email, email list stays as clean as possible in case any you know, spam bots have signed up on your landing page for some reason. It's going to make sure that whoever actually requested to get onto your email list actually really wanted to. But you could update this language so it sounds more like your brand voice. And you can also update this um, button so that it actually has your brand colors. So let me just go ahead and click save and then save. And so once you're done with all that editing, you click publish. And then here you have the nice little link that you can use to promote this page without having a website 
and promote the page so that you start getting people on your email list. Before you go, I wanted to let you know that I have a free PDF called the ConvertKit Playbook for Coaches. It's where I share five ways you can use ConvertKit to get visible and sign more clients. If you wanna grab it, go to the link on the screen right now, which is also in the description box. All you need to do is click on that link into your email address and I'll send the PDF right on over to you. I can't wait to hear about how ConvertKit is working for you in your coaching business. Be sure to comment below letting me know that you grabbed a copy. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I definitely plan on posting more tutorials on my channel. So if you don't want to miss those on ConvertKit and Paperbell and other different techie platforms that I love to use, then be sure to subscribe. And if you have any tutorials that you would like to see in the future, definitely let me know by posting your request in the comments below. I'll see you next time. Bye.